Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Geyser with me, Bring It On. We're going to speak to Siegfried, Theodwin, Isolin, Bertram, and Tobold. At once. Oh look, this one's surely carrying treasure. Finally, the gods have answered our prayers. Just place your belongings on the ground, keep your garments, then be off with you. I am itching for a fight. I do keep talking my way out of these altercations. I mean, I have this skill, so I may as well use it. You don't know what you're getting into. Stand down. All right, I need to be so hasty. We'll just look the other way while you go about. But don't you tell anyone else about us. Yes. All right, brewing and drying. Gray. Small blades. Go ahead. I await your instructions. All right, let's talk to him again and see what happens. Can I help you? Go on, leave us. We have other adventures to talk to. Can I help you? Yes. Greetings. Greetings. Off I go. Let's take a little bit of time and see if we can't pickpocket one or two of these guys. I'm listening. What is your wish? That's good enough, I think. There? All right, let's finish mapping this place out. I shall not flag until we prevail. Yes, I'll make it. Hmm? I will. No one stands against steel. I'm listening. You need only ask, as you say. Hello, Berthold? Can I help you? Ah, oh, uh, hello. Listen, I badly need someone's help. Well, my friend Grinditch does. Why are you hiding? Murderous lunatic elves. Grinditch and I were simply camping in the woods, innocently enjoying nature's wondrous bounty, when these mad elves grabbed my friend and stuffed him in a sack. Somebody has to help Grinditch. They surely intend to kill him. I have no idea what set those brutes off. Did a little bit of hunting. A few deer and foxes is all. Oh no. Elves are skilled trackers. What if they follow my trail back, he back here? Alright. What needs to be done? I need a bold and cunning adventurer to rescue Greenwich. They ambushed him at our camp. I have to be relieving myself some distance away. But they have gotten us both. Be wary of these killers. I overheard their plan for Greenwich. Intend to skin him and leave his hide draped on a tree as a warning. These blackguards should not be taken lightly. I'll save Grandich for you. Thank goodness. Look for our camp to the southwest, Dogorn's Glen. I'll have a valuable pair of gloves for you when Grandich is safe. Off I go. Lucky for us, we've already been there. As for his camp... Didn't we see a group of elves standing around a camp? I fear neither pain nor death. Go ahead. I believe it was mm -hmm. to the southwest there? in Talgorn's Glen. You dare face me! Alright, let's go do this real quick. It shouldn't take us too long. I don't suspect.
at once. Oh. I await your instructions. I'm listening. I shall not flag until we prevail. I don't like that they're immediately hostile, but yes. what can you do, I guess? Yes. I'm listening. What is your wish? I'm always ready. I'll make it. I must only ask. No one stands against steel. Go ahead. You need only ask. We not finished casting that? What next? What do you wish of me? Are you certain? I await you. I fear neither we'll pain nor death. I ignore see. that magic egg. Oh, maybe not. Agreed. Run away. A lot of boars. Ignore the boars as well. You dare face I take out the mage. I think they'll go away. Oops. Surrender while you still we'll find can. a solution. Are you certain? I'm listening. You dare face me! I'm always ready. Hmm? Yes? I await your instructions. Ready to serve. You need only ask. We'll find a solution. Surrender Perfect. while you still can. I'm always ready. I'm listening. I shall not flag until we prevail. You need only ask. All right, nothing to it. Go ahead. I await your instructions. All right, what do we get for our trouble? Some money, arrows, magic item. What is this? Verdant growth. Spell summons a group of verdant roots around the target. Doing them with the natural healing properties, energies of Talendia. Healing property, they should be property energies. They both shouldn't be plural. Now the target regains health each turn over multiple turns. Health regained each turn is increased between turns. Sounds pretty good to me. But first things first. Another one of these slings. Give that to her, I think. What do you wish of me? No space. Ready to serve. That is she. Maybe we'll just sell it. Mm -hmm. We'll find agreed. I've her memorize this. A beer would be nice. Thank you. Off I go. What next? What do you need? You need only ask. I await your instructions. There? I'm... Yes. Hmm? I can grab all that. I'm listening. Hello, Greenwich. Can I help you? Oh, you my life adventurer. It was a near thing, too. Look here. 
That's where they tested their blades for sharpness. On my arm. They're planning to skin me. Ugh. Left trees in green. It's back to Darren Gold for me. Greetings. I will lead. We didn't have a chance to talk them down. They did immediately attack us. So I'm glad I intervened. And it's possible that Renditch and Berthold were in the wrong, but skinning someone alive is not a proper punishment. At once. Can I help you? Well, did you succeed? I dealt with your elf problem. Renish left immediately for Darren Gold, that he was done with hunting in these parts. Nick on Arius, you appeared when you did, dear man. I believe I should follow him back to the city once I've broken camp. But first, I have something for you. The gloves I promised, as well as these potions. Happy I could help. Thank you. Well, this is goodbye then. Just Elven Gloves? Okay, well... So it's a max stack of four, it looks like. I off I go. I right, select so we're done here as well. <laughs> Where do I want to go to next? I guess we can go to Dalkovar. I'm listening. Yes. Yes. I'm listening. Um. Go ahead. What is your? Go wish? ahead. I may have sold that book. I'm always ready. The problem is I don't know who to who. Hmm. There. It may have been to Arnulf at Screaming Barrows. Let me go check. Usually quest items are put in the, the quest item inventory. I didn't think about it when I sold it. I remember I did sell one book like to a random merchant. I'm pretty sure it was Arnulf. Yes. They do keep what you sell. Alright, so it wasn't him. I await your at once. I can try turning it in anyway. There's no merchant here. No merchant here. Oh, the merchant here. Uh, Regan. He might have it. At once. So I've noticed we've been coming across more hostile foxes, and I wonder if that has something to do with the, the greed level increasing in the world. I'm um, I go. Left boots behind. I await your instructions. I'm lit. Off I go. So irresponsible. Also, isn't this new? Knight's half plate. Alright, so it's just worse than what I currently have. By 5% stabbing. No decent armor, though. Hmm? Yes. So it counts as heavy armor. Yeah. Go ahead. 
Yep. Just worse. What is your wish? Hello? Alright, buddy, do you have my book? Is not. Maybe I have to turn in the quest. I mean, the quest log updated. So maybe I don't need to actually have it in my inventory. Any longer. I might go and buy these. We have the money for it. Hold those gloves for right now. It's also possible that, uh, is it Torbold? The blacksmith? Uh, has the book as well. Ah, exploring. I don't remember selling too much stuff to people in town. Force in the Woods, that's a book we read at the beginning. Uh, the Espen Estate had it. Alright, that's good. Alright, so these are really good because they give me immunity to knockdown, so I'm not going to take those off. I give these to him, I think. Oh, dear Nate. This is a bit of defense. Maybe I'll give it to him instead. A beer would be nice. Thank you. He loses 5% cold resist. Yeah, that's definitely an upgrade. Hmm. The game slows down so much I'm trying to go into this inventory. I could sell that. Let's head back mm, to town there. then, because I'd like to do this quest, because it said I found the book. I know it's a common book. We found it a few times, if I'm not mistaken. It's the one about the daughter that didn't pay attention to her ma'am. Or I guess granddaughter, whatever it was. She went out to find her sister in the woods, in the tree. Got her. So I know I found at least another copy, so I'm pretty sure the blacksmith has at least one copy that I sold him. And then since we do have a quest taking us to Dalkovar, that'll probably be the next place we go. At once. He's still open. Guess he doesn't sleep. Yeah. Another kite shield. I may as well grab that for my main character. I haven't found any unique shields yet. Buy that for him. Well, that compares to his other bow. Oh no, he doesn't have it. He only has this one. Well, somebody around here has it. Gosh darn it! I await your instructions. I'm listening. Can I hmm? swear this? Good. I'm listening. What? All right, at least sell this other shield. Hundred and two gold. It's pretty good. Yeah, somebody has to have this book. At once. Remember who I sold it to. Uh, we should probably wait till daytime. 
Then again, I could probably just turn in the quest too. I should probably try that first. It might save us some time. Yes. Also, that I could probably handle off camera looking for the book, but I've already started. I've committed to it at once. I'd like to see it done. Must be at the pawn shop because I did sell the pawn shop a handful of things to buy the uh, the bright armor that the main character has equipped. Can I help you? At once. I mean, one of the merchants has to have it, because I know I found, I want to say at least two copies. At once. I think where else there might be a merchant. I don't remember where all the merchants are. Oh, Gavin might have it. Uh, wherever he's at, all the way over here. Greetings. Oh, there it is. That's right, because I, I bought it from the estate, and he's the first merchant you come across after leaving the estate. Starting to get concerned that uh, I wasn't going to find it. But while we're here, let's go and check out this store anyway. We have a lot of money. And there may have been items I wanted to buy, but I put it off because there were other priorities. I'll also go check out the pawn shop again, because they had a couple good items. I was focused on the armor, because my main character wasn't heavy wearing heavy armor, and I wanted him to, so. There's this. How does this compare to his armor? Better slashing, stabbing, worse cold. So he gets never seen once per day, which is invisibility, right? So get that for him. Gives him some cold damage and a chance of freezing. I have the critical chance, I think. Oh, he also has a copy of it. Hmm? By the way, he's gonna get that. We can sell this to him real quick. What do you need? I await your instructions. Hmm? Do they swap positions? I feel like they keep swapping positions. I await your instructions. It might just be in my head. What is your wish? Never seen. Uh, the spell causes a visual distortion around its target, hiding them from prying eyes. The target still needs to be careful with their actions, as the effect can be broken easily. It also does not cover sounds made by the user. I'm listening at once. Lucky for us, lockpicking doesn't make any sound. It says so in the description. <laughs> Alright, so let's go here first. I want to check out the pawn shop, then we'll go turn to this other quest. And after this tour, we shouldn't have to come back here to buy anything else. I have enough money to buy whatever I want. At once. I await your instructions. I'm listening.
Can I help you? So the fancy blue boots are really good. Not on par with the stylish red boots, though. Not going to replace those because that gives him a plus two to dexterity. I think the attribute points are more valuable than the resistances. And that's what she already has equipped. All right, that's I await it. your instructions. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else of interest in Ismerald that I, or sorry, Isalbright. At once, I await your instructions. That I could possibly want to purchase, so I don't have to worry about touring the stores anymore. Yeah, little party's really starting to come together. We're well equipped. We're leveling up very quickly. This is how it feels. I mean, the max level is 20. I feel like everybody's at least level 9. If not, well, the spellcasters might be level 8. Actually, Hamlin might be level 10. I know we're not all the same level. Eight, eight, yes. eight. Mm -hmm. She just hit Go level ahead. eight. What is your wish? Uh, nine yes. and seven. Okay. I at once. So she might level up off this quest. At once. Don't know where this guy is at. Oh, here's this guy too. I can check out his wares real quick. He had a bunch of expensive stuff, if I remember right. Oh, nothing that I particularly want. I await your off yeah, I go. Let's not worry about that right now. Game starts with an A. I don't know where you think he'd be near the library, right? If he's looking for a book. Oh no, he's in the uh like botany lab. At once. It's not a botany lab. Greenhouse area, whatever this is. Yes. Hello. Uh, were you able to acquire what I asked for? Uh, here it is. The voice in the woods. Quite a beautiful book. Yes, this is the very one. This is the book my parents used to read to me. I'll take some time to familiarize myself with the creatures described herein. While I do so, there's something else. I'm requiring an assortment of rare and powerful potions for my experiments. Here's what I need. An infusion of protective tears, an infusion of natural resistance, a strong potion of excitement, and two potions of constitution. I heard of a renowned Rillo potion crafter by the name of Hudai. I believe seeking him out would be a good start. So your family resides in Isselbright. Ask where you came from before relocating to the capital. I was raised deep in the eastern forest of Ismerald. Even in my childhood, many elves were leaving their tribes and everything they knew to start new lives in the towns and cities of the kingdom. My family always held the natural world to be an important part of our lives. But our close connections to the elven community were in the long run even more important. So we chose to leave with one of the bigger groups for Isselbright. But my family still proudly displays the ceremonial tattoos of our forest tribe. Having settled in one of the better quarters of the capital, my parents and two siblings and I 
enjoyed relative, relative prosperity for many years. I don't see them very often these days. My hours are consumed by my studies, when I'm not poring over my books. I have my apprentices uh, to mentor. But every once in a while, my family gathers in the forest outside the city to pay tribute to our elven lineage. Yet such an exodus, from green trees to great cobblestones, must have been a hard decision for your family. That is the way of things, I suppose. Yes. We all must walk a difficult road from time to time. Perhaps you've experienced something similar yourself. I'm afraid I'm still looking for what you requested. Not to worry, Donald. Of every confidence, you will find what I need in your own time. We gotta find Hudai. Off I go. I wonder if going to the... Eastern Empire's... Uh, embassy give us the lead that we need at once we might even be in there i mean he's a rillo who knows At once. I await your instructions. I'm listening. Alright, I'm gonna call it here. In the next episode, we'll go check out the Eastern Empire's embassy, see if we can't find Hudai the Rillo. I know there was one named NPC in there we couldn't talk to. Uh, same, I think that every embassy had a named NPC that dismissed us, so it might be Hudai, I don't remember. By the way, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.